Hey everybody, Mark here from AmericanAeration.com and in this quick video I just wanted to go over uh, what's called a remote manifold assembly. This is used with multi-diffuser systems. This is a CASCO uh, manifold, but anytime when we have two or three or four diffusers or more, we will generally have a dedicated valve for each diffuser going into the pond. And this is used for remote power setups. In other words, you put your pump in your cabinet by your power source, you run PVC in the case of the Casco, it would be three quarter inch ID PVC, just the Schedule 40 stuff uh, that you get at any hardware store. You put that in ground and then that connects to the manifold assembly that's down by the pond. And then off of this, each line will have, let's say a three eighths or five eighths fitting that the weighted air line goes to. And then that'll go down to the diffuser. All of this sits on a buried valve box and the reason that I wanted to mention this is I see in the DIY setups quite a bit where folks just talk about using a T fitting and they run a diffuser off each side of that T. If your airlines aren't too far out uh, and they would have to be pretty short and your depths aren't too varied, you would be okay with that. But if you have much variance there, any uh, difference, let's say you have one that is a diffuser that's more shallow and closer to the pump versus one that's deeper and further away, most of your air, if not all of it, is going to go on the path of least resistance. And so you won't get very much air out of one of the diffusers. And in order to compensate for that, you valve both lines and then can dial in or force that airflow to go anywhere you want. In certain conditions like in the winter or very specific conditions in the summer months, you may want to turn one of the diffusers off. And through most of the summer, Typically, folks will just even out the bubbling between, in this example, two diffusers, and they'll just run it that way. But the key is, is that you have full control over the airflow however you need to use it. And so it's important to look for a valved manifold and make sure that, you know, it doesn't matter how it's made, you know, what it's made out of, the material isn't as important as the function. And so this is going to typically go and connect to something in ground. This is just a stock piece of three quarter inch PVC. It's not part of the kit, but uh, you would pick that up locally. And then the fitting, the brass fitting on the one side goes to the pump uh, end of things. And then the dual manifold will sit in the valve box down by the pond. So it's a, it's a neat way to, you know, set these systems up kind of essential actually in a lot of cases because the depths are going to vary so much between diffusers and you can use uh, these up to three, four, five, six diffusers or more. Um, all of the commercial systems you see will be set up like this and just thought it would be useful to talk about it. We're shipping this one out in the morning and I had it in front of me and I thought, you know, I'm gonna bring it up and just address this issue with the basic T configurations being somewhat limited. If you can get by with that, I'm all for it. But if you're seeing some real discrepancy between diffuser bubbling, this is what you need to do, something like this, and it will take care of the problem. Anyway, I hope uh, you're having a great day there, and uh, we'll talk to you again soon. Take care.